Newport Public Library. Thanks for joining me today for Kids in the Kitchen. Um, today we're going to make ravioli lasagna. So this is a, another one of those dishes that you can just mix everything together, put it in the oven. Although we do have to cook the beef first. So some of the items we're going to use in this recipe is a Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, ground beef, spaghetti sauce, cottage cheese or ricotta if you prefer, garlic, and some ravioli. So first we're going to go to the stove and brown our meat and add our garlic. So I'll see you at the stove. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brown our ground beef. And this ground beef happens to be 85-15. So there's 15% fat. It's going to take a few minutes. I tend to use a lot of cast iron pans because I like the way the heat is even. Now you might want to have an adult help you with this part. Once it starts to cook a little bit, I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic. It's a very fast dinner. Yeah, it's starting to get hot. my teaspoon of garlic ready. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic. This is garlic powder. Keep browning our meat. It's starting to smell good in here. Now if you wanted to, you could also add some onion. I don't, but you could. You could probably even add other vegetables like green pepper or green onion. You could top it with fresh basil. Once this ground beef is all cooked up, then we're going to put it in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. We don't want to see any pink. We want everything to be brown. Almost done. seconds. Next I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of water to this pan and I'm going to scrape the bottom of the pan and that's called deglazing the pan. That means we want to get any little pieces of meat that might be stuck on the bottom of the pan off the pan. So here's my quarter of a cup of water and I'm going to scrape. We also want to make sure we have enough moisture when we cook our lasagna. And there wasn't much on this, the bottom of this pan, but... Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off, let it sit a minute, and I'll meet you over at the table. Now we're back at the table and we're going to put our beef in the bottom of this 9 by 13 baking pan. So, just dump it all in. Again, you're going to probably want an adult to help you because this is kind of heavy if you're 
so you can see. So I just put it in the bottom of the pan. I didn't do anything else. Next I'm going to put the ravioli on top of this. And I have meat ravioli and I have cheese. It's 29 ounces so I'm going to use about a bag and a half. And I like to mix them. So I'll put some meat in, I'll put some cheese in. Again, you really can't do this wrong. This is the meat, and they're frozen. I didn't even have to thaw them out. Just like that. You could do all cheese if you wanted to. And then I'm going to use part of the bag with the cheese ravioli. Like maybe a half. Again, you can't do it wrong. If it doesn't want to come apart, just let it bake together just like it is. All right, very good. Now the next thing we want to do is pour our spaghetti sauce on top of the ravioli and meat. So we're just going to pour it on just like this. Now I preheating my oven, I turn my oven on to 350 degrees. And you're going to bake it till this is bubbly. So the edges should be bubbly by the time you take it out of the oven. I leave it in for 45 minutes to an hour. I take it at 45 minutes and I look to see if it's bubbling on the edge. If it is, that means it's really hot. Then I pull it out. And once we pull it out, we're going to put in three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese, a cup of mozzarella cheese, and a cup of cottage cheese. But we're not going to put the cheeses in the dish till after it's cooked. Then we're just going to stir it in. So now I'm going to put a piece of foil on it, and I'm going to pop it in the oven. So I'll see you in 45 minutes to an hour. See you soon. Welcome back. Our lasagna is done. There it is, really, really hot, and it's bubbling on the edges. So now we're going to add our cheeses. So this is cottage cheese. Remember I said you could also use ricotta if you want. But I had cottage cheese in the house, so that's what I'm using. Making lots of noise. And our Parmesan cheese, three quarters of a cup. And our mozzarella cheese. And we're just going to stir it in. Just like this. Now, I used a whole cup of spaghetti sauce. If you don't like it really saucy, you could use less. And now I'm going to let it sit a few minutes. So the cheese can melt. I like saucy lasagna, so I use more sauce. If you like it a little thicker, use a little less sauce. Okay, so I'm going to let it sit for a while. I'm going to cover it and let it sit for like 10 minutes. And then come on back and we'll serve it up. All right, our lasagna has sat for about 10 minutes. So let's put some in it on the plate. Doesn't it look good? There you go. Enjoy your scrumptious dinner. Mm -hmm.